I'm an environmental engineer and um, most of my research focuses on water technologies, so providing clean water and cleaning up wastewater to discharge back into the environment. It's traditionally done by big water utilities and it's one of the most energy intensive processes that we use in the built environment. In Scotland, Scottish Water are the largest users of electricity. They, they use about 5% of the electricity generated in Scotland. The vast majority of it is used in wastewater treatment. So we take our waste from our households and from industry. It goes down the sewers to sewage works. And most sewage works are based on biological treatment. So we grow up large vats of microbes which consume the waste and precipitate out of the fluid and then we discharge clean water into the environment. In the process of doing that, we supply vast amounts of oxygen to the, to the microbes. So we blow in lots of oxygen and that's one of the things that, that takes up a huge amount of energy. Most of my research is on the microbiology side of things. So we're trying to get the microbes to work harder and use less energy. One of the ways that we can get them to work harder is just to give them more heat. They prefer to operate at warmer temperatures. And we were thinking about how can we use maybe waste heat from the household that goes down sinks. Can we harness that waste heat to enhance the activity of the microbes? When we look at this problem from the energy engineering perspective, so we try to help to improve the overall energy efficiency of the water treatment processes. We try to use a whole system approach to look at whether energy should be added, whether energy can be extracted, and then we combine this, integrate the whole processes through innovative energy systems like the heat pumps we are developing. So it can produce both heating or cooling for clean water production, for example. So that can help to improve the overall energy efficiency of the water technology developed by a bill. So we had sort of built a prototype built around that concept in, in the laboratory. And then in a conversation with Xi Bin, we discovered that he had invented this novel heat pump system. The beauty of this is that his innovation requires uh, an, an additional reservoir where you dump heat and then use it later. And it transpires that dumping heat into a, into a container of water is, is quite an efficient way of, of storing the heat and then using it later. So we then we thought, well, if you're dumping heat into, into a bucket, why not dump it into an enhanced household scale bioreactor for treating wastewater? So the combination of the two uh, sort of sat beautifully together. Um, in the future, we're not going to get our heating delivered through um, you know, by gas central heating, we're, we're all going to be moving towards heat pumps. So if we can think about novel ways now to integrate water and heat, then there'll be a great benefit, I think.